Hi, my name is Mark Ellingson, founder and creator of Sports Roses. And I'm here today because we get a lot of customers that are trying to get a special gift for either their softball player for senior night or graduations, or moms uh, for uh, senior night for baseball. And uh, they're always looking for a way to incorporate sports roses into a, a beautiful bouquet with live roses. And a lot of times it can be very expensive if you have to go into your floors and to have them custom arrange it for you. So we want to show you it's not that hard and it's not that expensive to take our beautiful everlasting sports roses and incorporate them into a bouquet with live roses. And all you need to do actually is uh, you just go to your grocery store and you can actually pick up for very inexpensively uh, uh, a bouquet with fresh flowers that usually is going to be arranged for you in cellophane and maybe some uh, uh, tissue paper and this particular one I ended up getting for only 10 bucks today so it's very cheap and then what you can do you'll then want to get um, from our website sportsroses.com we have softball roses, baseball roses, football roses and I'm just using our individual long stems here and I have three of them and you can choose how many you would like based off of your budget. Then you're going to need uh, some ribbon here. We have one yard of our softball ribbon. We also have baseball, football and other sports on our website so you can purchase that at sportsroses.com. And uh, we'll get started here. Okay, so we have our bouquet, we have our roses and ribbon, and I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how I'm going to insert the softball roses inside the bouquet. I'm going to try to, um, you can, if you need to loosen up the back uh, rubber bands or strings that they might have wrapped your bouquet in, you can do so. Um, these ones aren't too tight, it's pretty loose so that I can easily uh, in, you know, add it. I might take this one off here though. I'll just take that off. So that way it's loose enough to insert your stems in. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'm going to try to make it even. So I'm going to put like a softball rose on, on one side and on the other side and in the middle. All right. So all you have to do is this one's going to be in the middle. Just kind of gently uh, lift up some flowers and see if you can get a little hole in there that you can guide it through. Don't uh, push too hard. And, uh, and then just make sure you're, uh, if you look in the back, make sure that you can find your stem. Now these are really lifelike stems, so they kind of blend in with the other ones. Oh, here it is, right here. <laughs> and uh, just, you can always pull on that a little bit to guide it. And because you want to feature the softball rose, you're going to want to make sure it stays up above the rest of the flowers so that it stands out and the other flowers are just the background. We got one there. Let's put one over here on the side. And you can leave the leaves on here because after the other flowers die they'll be ready to you could uh, put them in a vase or, um, you know, display them, you know, on your desk or at your dorm. Okay, and I'll stick this one on this side. Okay, and uh, let's see how this looks here. All right, it looks great. So then the last thing we're going to do is uh, go ahead and tie the ribbon around. So what you do is you'll take your ribbon and just uh, put it around the base here. Now for tying ribbon, uh, if you want to try to, it it's a little, takes a little practice in the beginning, but basically you'll uh, do a standard uh, over and under basically like you would tie a shoe and uh, make sure to have the print stay up on top. Then what you do is you need to make two little uh, bunny ears and uh, this is the tricky part. The uh, outside uh, ends need to remain on the outside 
and this end is going to cross over the uh, the out this end over here and then you'll tuck it under and pull and then you'll just make sure it all stays in the front and there you go you got your softball rose arrangement and uh, we can also you can also cut the ends here and oh one other thing is we'll cut these uh, stems down you'll need to get some uh, wire cutters for this step um, you know ask you know your husband or dad if he has any wire cutters and you can just snip these off right here or you, if you like to leave them the length you you can do that too because later on if you you know want to save your roses for something else it, you're able to just keep them they don't look very it doesn't look that uh, bad just leaving them like that since they blend right in so here's your softball rose bouquet and I'm sure that your uh, softball player or baseball mom would just love to get one of these thank you for watching our video on how to make a bouquet with sports roses we hope you found it very easy to do and it's not very expensive but we know it's going to make a lasting impression with that special someone that loves sports now you can find out more about how to use make other arrangements with sports roses by subscribing to our YouTube channel. That's at youtube.com/sportsroses. Thank you very much.